Setting realistic expectations. You need to uh, set realistic expectations to avoid disappointment. Like I said earlier, if you don't, if you don't stress, sorry, if you don't let your client know, I won't be able to deliver the photos within two weeks. And you've not told them that if you've not told them that you can't deliver the photos within two weeks, and they're expecting them within two weeks, you know, let's say three weeks time, the client's going to be like, "Where's where's my photos? It's been three weeks ago. Three weeks ago since the shoot. Where, where's the photos? You need to set those expectations. Let's say you do a video shoot, and the client's like, um. I want animation, I want real cool visual effects, and you don't specialize in that. If you don't let the client know, they're going to be really disappointed with the edit because they're, they're expecting, you know, motion, you know, motion graphics, motion VFX, animation uh, in the video. If you don't tell them beforehand that that's not something that you specialize in, they're going to be disappointed. You need to set those expectations. So what I often like to do is provide a checklist or framework for discussing the details like timelines, deliverables, and also potential challenges as well. Um, For me, a lot of the time last year, a lot of my shoots were in like co-working spaces like WeWorks, um, just like, yeah, co-working spaces. A lot of them are in London because let's say the client didn't have the budget really to to hire a studio or like um uh like a filming set kind of thing so they they opted for like a co-working space one of the challenges was there's going to be people in the background uh if this their first time on camera they may be a little bit nervous you know talking to camera with some people there in the background um there may be music playing for like the overhead speakers that may not be be able to turn off i let the client know that because of my past experiences and also that's just the shooting day you know there may be challenges with the edit let's say you know some things went wrong with the shoot so you, you you're going to need to let the client know you know this this might take a little bit work in the edit so this may take a little bit longer set those expectations out you know how that may implement the timeline how that may impact the deliverables if you don't set the clear boundaries uh, clear um expectations on the deliverables then that's 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 not good i often like to ask my clients do you want this video landscape and portrait or just or just landscape? And, you know, if a client lets me know saying, yeah, we, we may want this landscape. Uh, so we may want this portrait to post on social media. I know that, you know, let's shoot this a little bit wider. So I've got enough space to crop um, for it to be portrait. If I don't ask that and I've zoomed, you know, all the way in and the client says, oh, we want this portrait as well. Is that OK? And you're like, oh, uh, I don't think I can do that. I've zoomed all the way in. It's not going to fit in the frame. They're going to be a little bit disappointed. So, yeah, provide a checklist. So, yeah, make a checklist um, and framework for, yeah, discussing the details like timelines, deliverables, and potential challenges. I, I've i really pride myself on my customer experience. I've got wonderful testimonials and reviews from my clients, which which is great. I'm eternally grateful for them. So if anyone, uh, any of them is listening, thank you so much. That's very kind. Um, but that's all come from, you know, learning from my mistake, my mistakes when just starting out as a photographer. And yeah, it's a, it's a learning curve. It's a long road. And as at the end of the day, the client is always right. So yeah, I definitely encourage you to reflect on your client interactions, um, zoom out, you know, think about, you know, we're, we're only a, a month into the new year. Have a little look back at last year, 2023, what went well, even better if, and you know, what the clients, how they resonated with you. If a client says, oh, thank you so much, you know, for the, you know, the frequent updates on this project, that's great. That's a positive. Bring that into uh, the new year. Bring that into your business for, for 2024. If a client, you know, is messaging you, you know, every sort of day going, oh, you know, can you give us any updates? You've not replied or... Um, just just general feedback uh, that you're not taking on then you know you need to work on thank you so much it's a little bit of a shorter one um because yeah it's not it's not always fun you know dealing with an upset client but at the end of the day they're always right and there's always things that you can improve uh thank you so much for listening tuning in um I invite you to share your experiences and any questions that you have for me down in the comments below. So yeah, remember establishing and maintaining strong client relationships is crucial in a competitive field of photography and videography. Thank you so much for listening guys and I'll see you in the next one.